What's up? Another day in paradise, I'm telling you. Another day in paradise. Always when people go, how you doing? I'm living the dream. <laughs> Well, you, Walmart's the got – well, not all of them. I, I was about to say Walmart's got bo- both doors open now, but I take that back. The one that you and I go to – No, they only have that one I'm side 30, open. On I-35's got both today. Oh, did they? I went today, and they only had one. They must have opened it. Well, I only went into one side, so you might this, have is all, this is but all ridiculous. The one on Imperial um, – I went there. They expected both doors to be open. I even walked towards that door, and then somebody had me. <laughs> couldn't go in. I was like, all right. So I had to change direction. Go the other way. Uh, so let's, uh, let's address the elephant in the room. First off, how did you focus – How did you even make it through today knowing that your Titans cannot play because they are the team that gave everybody Corona and the NFL? Well, it gets worse. (laughs) I was just reading that before we started our Zoom. I just just looked at Twitter and just see what's going on there. And apparently the Titans have got to show two days in a row of negative tests. And then before they can play, before they can open their facility up, and they had somebody today. They had to put on the reserve their fullback. They had to put on the COVID list today. So if they don't get tomorrow and Tuesday, or Tuesday is the normal league day off, so they won't they play. If they don't get their stuff open by Wednesday, then that Bills game next weekend becomes in jeopardy. It, we could be facing a forfeiture at some point. Oh, I did not think We might I have to forfeit the game. It's your best damn season. You better hope not. Guys are wow. playing damn good ball. Well, that's what's got me mad. We got a pretty good team. We just need to get healthy. I mean, I, I, when I said we need to get healthy, I didn't know I meant COVID. I meant, like, <laughs> shoulders and knees and stuff. But if we were healthy, uh, we're ready to make it. I mean, I, I think end of the day, Kansas City's going to win it all anyway, but. That's my team to. Hey, even if you get there, though, it's uh, it's better than what you've been doing. I mean, that's a step in the right direction. I mean, so it's not like it's a, a bad deal. I think I think we were ready to make a run, you know, just like we did last year. I thought we were going to be headed towards the twelve, and we still may be. I mean, it's just I had to move the bye week to this week. I mean, if they play, if they yeah, play next week, then it's back on course. So I mean, but they're looking at playing the Steelers, right? They're going to play the Steelers Monday or Tuesday. No, no, they moved it to the 25th. They Oh, 25th. They, they moved the Chiefs to the night, yeah. Yeah, I think they moved the Pats-Chiefs game, and the, the Titans-Steelers got moved the 25th, which bumped uh, Steelers-Ravens to some other date. There was a, there, there was a okay. game they were going to play, so they had to move one of their games. With the Isn't Ravens. that crazy? It's yeah. so crazy. Stupid, but, stupid I mean, shit. It, and this is only October. This is the beginning of October. We're already. No, I know. I know. I mean, there's a lot more a... breakouts that could happen. No, it would be all gone in a couple months. Well, I think at the election, all this magically goes away anyway. But that's just yeah. Me. It disappears. It disappears. Yeah. Uh. So, what we can do is, at the end of our show, we'll put up the video of trailer that I shot you the other day. It's in your, it's in your, uh, I sent it to you. It's a minute long. It's in your messenger. I mean, it's in your, it's on our, mine and your text message. The trailer to what? The trailer where I was at, the old dirty trailer. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I really changed gears on you. I thought movie trailer. No. Well, it's you sent me that. You, said, you, said, you sent me that and said, keep it with the show. I honestly never watched it. I was like, I, that's the show. So I, I didn't know what's in the darn thing. It, it's only a minute of explaining how good and how lucky we are to find stuff like that to use. You know, in LA, it probably costs you a million dollars or to set, dress it, and do all that. And, you know, we're, we just got to find the people. And we, we really are fortunate here to be able to create without all of the bullshit and red tape you got to go through and in bigger cities. Well, that reminds me. That reminds me of something. 
talking about the set dressing and how we get it for cheap and all that stuff. I know you and I are big on regret. I know you don't look back and regret a lot of things, and I try not to either. But if you don't share this major regret in your life with me, then you ain't a human. Go. We, the, I'm fact that going we, the fact that we never got around to shooting something and all that SpaceX stuff before SpaceX locked up. We, we literally should be kicked in the balls. Like, we should be actually, you know what we should have done to us? Tied up and drugged through that some bitch and left there at night to <laughs> to be with the animals that are in there. The dog sized raccoons. The dogs. That was the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate location that we let slip through our fingers. So for those that don't know, out in McGregor, Texas, where SpaceX is and have that facility, you go back this road. That used to be a bomb plant in World War Two. And, yep. and then through the fifties, hell, I think it was up until like the 90s they did stuff there anyway there's these facilities that are abandoned and grown up they look right out of like some chernobyl movie or a zombie oh movie. my god absolutely and there are these long hallways and these abandoned like test stalls and it's in like the you know you see an old submarine movie where they got like walls of like switches they have these walls of switches there's a big old boiler room with a catwalk where we saw the giant dog-sized raccoon <laughs> yeah and then there was like an abandoned daycare and we wrote, yeah, that's exactly right. We wrote, we had everything planned out. Yeah, but it, it, but it was not, I don't think it was even a year by SpaceX. SpaceX was already there, but they weren't in that part. Correct. It was less than a year, it was months later, all that got locked down. Uh, yeah, right after we went to where the old firehouse was, and they had the tunnels. Yep. And we got, I mean, I do. That, if, 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 I, I don't say much on regret, but I regret that. I regret there, that we couldn't get into those places. There was like that an was abandoned amazing. like building that was straight up, like almost like just a wall with oh. floors on floors on it. Yeah, oh, it was we, a, you, oh. we actually walked up, I think, two or three flights. Yeah. That, three that flights. was probably the most amazing set that we'll ever find. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, with a SpaceX and all their shit, we can't even get close to it now. No way we, we ever get out there. I don't even know. I don't even know if, where the fire station was where we were, because the forest part, forest rangers had that front part. Mm -hmm. and that was the old fire station. I think everything past the forest rangers is, but it's just that. I mean, and yeah, you go down the road and look at that big car gate. Yeah, and that was huge, wasn't it? No. Yeah. How big was that? That was such a. And I'm talking football field yeah three times football field size of underground tunnels and oh yeah it was. i bet you can go to google earth and just go to it and you can find them uh, just go find mcgregor texas and just move you'll find it that makes my heart hurt now that you just said that's that. that's our biggest regret you talk about set dressing perfect Golly. we could have made 50 movies out there oh even my dog <laughs> hang on yeah. i had to close my butt in my office i have a uh uh, a pillow over here. Dude, let me just, it's easier just to do this. The dogs have an area. Yeah. That just fell. Dogs have an area. Um, and they can lay over there while look out the window. And, of course, when they see anybody, a fly or something, they bark, which, hey, it's good, but good Lord. Well, our cats are getting about like your dogs, so – don't worry. They They're starting tore up the garden the place. They tore up the whole. They got that back back room, like a little. I guess call it a sunroom. That's where we keep their litter box and their fit food and all stuff. We got a couple of like the little drinks. And they tore up everything. Oh god! <laughs> they had a, it looked like a frat party. <laughs> Trisha to go in there and clean it from top to bottom. He, he would get. He get. He climbed into the litter bag and was kicking that shit out of the bag. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea why. He, he didn't uh, body in the bag. He just was kicking it out. They do stupid. They do stupid crap. Yeah. So yeah. we took Roy off of Wounded right. and out of everything we did. Right. And we were going to do a 10 series, five minutes long, and our four minute part that we were getting ready to shoot next week. Mm -hmm. We were going to do that for a movie, uh, for a film, right? Which is a website. If you guys don't know, you can look it up and a contest. Yeah. 
And over the last week or so, we've had a chance to do something different, which is create this into a full movie. And me and you talked on, I think it was, uh, in fact, I was on Friday. We yeah. talked for about 20 minutes on Friday and decided, you know, why not? Since we have a chance with distribution, we know some people we've had, we have some friends that have kind of moved up in the, in the world that we know, I know, you know, mm-hmm. and said, Hey man, let's just, <laughs> so just put it on Facebook for, eh, let's just try it one more time. So, me and you're going to take Roy and turn it into a uh, a movie, and I think it's going to be pretty dang good, man. Well, keep it simple. Like we, we yo, oh my God, it, I don't think this can get any simpler. It's just I stole money from a bad guy. I got to pay it back. Period. What's going to happen to me while doing it? That's it. And I could tell and, I'll, I'll, I'll tell them what I told you. I, I did a lot of. I got stuck right in my novel, and need to go back to the drawing board and look at a few things. And and, the, and basically, the guy that made the Mad Max movies, he followed Joseph Campbell, who outlined how to tell stories, how like all basically every story back from ancient mythology to now have a similar pattern. And so he followed that same pattern to make the Mad Max movies. And just like, you know, Mad Max Fury Road, he gets kidnapped by the bad guys. They go out in one direction to do the thing, turn around and come right back. And then fight along the way. That's it. That's the movie. Why does it become? Keep it simple. Why do we overkill, not just us, but, dang, man. Oh, man, he just died. You there? There you go. Dude, I, I don't know what happened. Why do we as people overkill the sim- the simplest stuff? What 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 are we trying to, you know, no different than Christopher Nolan and Tennant to what what are we tr- trying to do? Oh, I mean I think there's just room for everything. I mean, I think the simple stuff like Road Warrior and Mike I mentioned Mad Max Fury Road, I think that's it's great and stuff, but I mean, it's like food. Cheeseburger is wonderful. Cheeseburger is amazing. It's about as simple as you can get a piece of meat, cheese, and bread. But every once in a while, it's nice to have a souffle or a, I think, know, yeah. something, you know, filet mignon. I mean, it's, it's, it's I, I just, I look at it like we, I don't, I don't know if we try to, but uh, things that we're going back to is the cheeseburger here to go. The cheeseburger's been around. People enjoy the cheeseburger. So instead of us trying to make a souffle, why don't we just give you the cheeseburger that we know you will like? I think I think we tried to make something fancy with no money, and uh, it didn't necessarily get the best results. And when we kept it simple, we things were better. So since you don't have – since we have a cheeseburger budget, we just need to make cheeseburgers. Period. Yeah. That's – Man, that's pretty good. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it comes down to that. I mean, I think if we had the budget to make a casserole, we'd make one. But nah, ain't no doubt about that. I mean, and, and like I said, with a thought on change, I tried to probably do too much. I liked it. I liked the movie. I've had people tell me they like it. It was number two to Wounded in views before yeah. I pulled it. But I don't think it's as successful as Wounded. Because it was more complicated, I thought. I think. Well, it was. It was the. It was like you said. It was the art part of you going. It was already. This is what I want to deliver, and you know, it wasn't blazing saddles. Yeah, it was. It was arty, and like I didn't have. I shouldn't have done it that. Way. I mean, in hindsight, I mean, I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not. Again, I'm not regretting anything. I'm not kicking my. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it just is what it is. I was too arty about it and overthought it. And so I don't think it was as good as Wounded. I don't think it was as good as a killing. Uh, I think those were better. And those, I made, they were way simpler. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's what we're doing now with, uh, it won't be called Roy, but by the end of the, t- uh, end of the day, you literally can go, huh, I just want to know where he's going next. What, what, what mistake does he have to get out of? 
Yeah. That's all you got to really think about. How is he going to get out of this? That's it. Yeah. There ain't nothing that at the end of the day going, he ain't going to walk in some place and at some convenience store, the guy goes, Roy, I am your father. Yeah. Ain't none of that shit going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> none of that shit's going to happen. So, right. you know, and I, and I think by us doing that, it allows me to be a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say not flexible, but focused on the action to where I don't have to, you already know that as I'm sitting here going through it today, you know that you can go, all right, whenever I get it, I can just clean it up. Well, I, I think the analogy I use the other day that, that I think is going to help us is, is they don't make them anymore, but they used to make those Saturday Night Live movies. They'd have Wayne's oh. World, they'd have yep, absolutely. whatever, all these different Saturday Night Live movies. It'd be a character or skip from Saturday Night Live, they'd make a big movie out of it. Yep. And every one of those was the same thing. It had like the simplest plot, like they needed to raise money or they needed to get a job or something like that. And every scene was just a skit. They just tied a bunch of skits together and then boom, you had a movie and they just tied them together. And at the end of the day, at the end of the movie, they got the money or whatever they needed to do. And it was over to me. It's the same thing. We just, Oh, it is. Roy, Roy owes money. So we need enough skits of him getting that money back. Either pay him back or lose. That's exactly right. At the end, he either wins or loses. That's it. And that has been, I think that has been probably our biggest, if I had to say we had one downfall, and I think it, it might be for all movies, a lot of movies, is the ending. It's where to stop this or... I, dude, I told you, I, I, didn't, I didn't tell you, I rented, I rented the script that we were offered to put in a million dollars for. I watched Tax Collector. I yeah. rented it on the plane. I, I couldn't download it, so I watched it the other day, and I went, golly, the ending is absolutely horrible. I'm talking, <laughs> and you know me, I don't really knock a lot of movies. Yeah. But if one out of five, I gave it a negative three. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. that's how bad it was. Shia LaBeouf was great. Yeah, his character was great. He was great. You, I felt who he was, but yeah. he ain't in it that much. But the the rest of it, shh, dude, it was absolutely horrible. Yeah, I, I read the script and then it didn't grab me. I mean, talk about now, I guess, since the movie's out. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think we ever even signed an NDA. Maybe we did. I don't remember. No, we didn't. Yeah, we we were just offered. We had to. We had to. We were offered a chance to put in a million dollars for that. Yeah. Seven production companies. We were one of them, from David Ayers, and I think we talked about it last week, and we didn't have it. Uh, but dude, it was not. And I really like a lot of this stuff. I liked Fury, and I liked. Uh, he wrote Training uh, Day, right? He wrote Training Day. I liked End of Watch. Uh, you know, I like those. I even like Sabotage with Arnold that y'all didn't, but I like it. He did I think that. The only thing I didn't like about Sabotage was I think it kind of just drug out in the middle. I think uh, the yeah, action was I good. Think, I think good. because it wasn't – there wasn't really – I don't know. There's not much more he could go. I mean, he did Suicide Squad. I mean, but I the character that Shia LaBeouf was, he was good. Creeper, he was good. Yeah. It just, after that, it was like, hey, we got one actor, one big actor besides Lopez and a few known it. We got one actor. We only got a week to shoot him or six days to shoot him. Yeah. Let's get as much as we can. Yeah. So, he wrote, he also wrote the first Fast and Furious and U571. Oh, U571, that's right. Dude, that was a hell of a good movie. That was a good movie. I mean, the dude's done a lot of stuff. I'm not saying he's talented. I'm just saying that one just wasn't great. But the ending, and that's what we've had, you know, and, and a lot of movies, the ending, how to, how to stop it, how to get you out of that chair is where, is where we're at. You well, know what I mean? The, the, the problem we've had with the action and horror type stuff with, with the endings is we ne- that's your big grand finale, and we never have a dollar to put together to, to no. have a grand finale. We couldn't, that's true. You know, 
that the best ending we ever did was a killing. You know why? Because it wasn't a horror or an action, and we had to go for an emotional ending. And we and it was a really good ending, I think. The, I mean, the, plenty the of drama. There. The drama part was it it, it worked because Rusty and them did good. Yeah, and it, it was it was emotional, and I, I had a lot of people tell me they're crying and bald ending. So we, I, it all comes. I mean, you said it yourself. It all comes back down to money and lack thereof. Yep. And uh, that's been our biggest handicap with all of it is, is money. So now, so now everybody's going to be listening to this and going, well, then why are y'all doing a movie if you struggle with the ending? Can or will this one be different? I don't know. We got to be smarter. And I think we are smarter now. Yeah. I think we really are. So I've been working on it. I've been working on it all day. We you know the. When we did the guy wasn't lucky, the last thing both ended in a warehouse. But hey, they both were good locations. No, we, no, just couldn't, yeah. we couldn't utilize them. Yeah, don't get me wrong. No, what I was about to say is they ended in both in a warehouse. But honestly, if we had money, we would have just been like somewhere more sexy. Oh, shit, shit. I don't shit, think that anything shit. different would have happened. No, it, 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 the just, location would have been better. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it'd been yeah. cool to have last end in a, like an airplane graveyard or something, which I think we tried to do. Yep, we did. And, and we couldn't find – I think they moved it. It was at the Temple Airport, and they moved yeah. the stuff before we could get to it. And then we were going to do, we were going to do the silos well before Chips and Joanna was going to be the end of last end. And that's where we, we went, there, remember? Right. We couldn't get in there. And, in fact, there were people there looking at it. It wasn't Chip and Joanna. There were people there looking at it, and I still have the footage of me and you being up on the top two silos. Oh, yeah. Being in me all and Will. Building, me, you, and Will. And we me, you, Will. Like, and you, me, and you went in the damn thing, and we're yep. like, yeah. It's when all, yeah. And that's where it was going to be. The end yeah. of 2015. Well, actually, it was 14 then. It was the fall of 14. And if wounded, or summer of 14. Same thing with wounded. If I'd had money for wounded, it'd probably be the same thing, but like put at like – you know, a dam or the end of an airport runway or, you know, something. Well, remember we looked at, for wounded, we looked at up on the dam and the uh, Corps of Engineers told us no yeah. because cause we were going to shoot the drone and them on there and they were like, no, because some the, 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 the foreigners are still it and know where to put the bomb. And I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, so I the Corps of Engineers have some sort of rules or something. Yeah. Wouldn't they just come down here and know where to put the bomb and. Really ain't, ain't going to watch the movie that we do on there. Me and you, you weren't with me. Me and Mike, Mikey, Mike Thornton, we, uh, there's a little switch yard, a little power plant switch yard, yard over there by six and uh, 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 84 where you got like the Whataburger in the mall. No, no, I know exactly where it's at. And me and him walked in there. If you just, if you just park in a little place, you can park, you can walk, you can just go down a little bit. You can go into it. There's nothing to get the fence only goes so far. You can just walk in there. We walked right in there and we're like, man, we can do it here. We just have to be really sneaky and just, but then we thought, me and him were talking out. I'm like, we gotta get like, we gotta get about a dozen people back. <laughs> I don't know. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> it have been sexy. Yeah. We have a lot of, remember we went to West after the explosion? Uh huh. And we looked at that building there for the end, and they, I didn't know if we could have got in there, especially after that, and the shoot 'em up. So we have good locations. We we just need to take the time now. We were always on a deadline, you know. We had to put it in the theaters. We had to do this, and this time it's like, hey, this is our, this is mine and yours, ride or die. Well, I think I think the difference now is is patience. You get a little older. I think you're more patient. I, I know you're more patient than you used to be. You're still oh pretty God, impatient, but you're better than you used to be. I'm better than I used to be. That's all we can say. And, and I'm uh, not nowhere near perfect, but I'm better than I used to be. I understand that we are just as capable as everybody else. I understand we don't have money like Hollywood, but your stories are just as good. The action's just as good. Yeah, we're not going to flip 17 cars like Michael Bay, but – you don't really have to if you're creating the hell or high water type movies. Well, I've said no before, country for old men. The beauty of social media, it has you know, used to when we were kids, man. Somebody went to Hollywood, made it famous, man. That was like, man, you must be the. You, know, you saw somebody on TV or a movie that they're the most talent or a musician. That's the most oh. talented people on the planet. Absolutely. We found out with social media and YouTube, there's 
a billion talented people to do all kinds of things. Just because you went to Hollywood and made Don't it and make you more shit. talented or no. more pretty or anything else, there's just regular folk out there who can play the guitar just as good as. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I told her, I told Stephanie the other day, I said, you look on YouTube, there's singers out here that'll blow the people that are in the music business away. They just never been discovered. There's um, filmmakers that make shit. That's amazing. If you watch that, just go screw it. I'm going to do it. And I think that's where, where we really are now. Yeah. I mean, is, like, even models, there's uh, Instagram has got so many just homegrown models that are better. Than, oh yeah. For sure. You know, for sure. For sure. For sure. Fashion models that there are. I mean, it's the great equalizer. Social media is a great equalizer. It's the, yeah, it's the good and the evil of the world. Yeah, well, yeah, it's got plenty of evil, too. So, you know, that's, uh, well, here's, here's where we are. And for the uh, 37 people that watch this or listen to it, we <laughs> are, <laughs> we are in week six of our, this, six, week six, five or six. This, is the, this will be the seventh. Oh, uh, this will be the seventh. Yeah, seventh. We're in week seven. We are going to go full bore into what's probably going to be called screwed, I hope, but it's our Roy I like it. Uh, Roy deal. Uh, we do have pretty much ten episodes written, so now we're going to compile them into one movie. We're going to junk them all in together, and then you can clean it up. I have a few actions. I have another script I want to put in there. And now that me and you have talked and I know where I know where, what I have to do and, and is just get all my stuff laid out, then, you know, maybe come November we can start filming it and we'll see where it goes from there. Well, I like about this that we're doing here. If somebody watched episode one and now they get to this one, they'll say, y'all done change course four times. Exactly. Yeah. This is no different yeah. than what happened in 2010, 12, 15, you name it. This is the way they all have gone. They ain't, I ain't, there ain't been a project yet that ain't gone this way. Absolutely. You're right. I mean, it's absolutely right. And that, and that's just the ones we finished. There's, I can't tell you how many more that didn't get finished. Oh, Cowboy and Lucky Three. We sat in there in, in cinema and had Cowboy and Lucky Three completely laid out, top to bottom. What do we? We had every plot point. We had everything, top to bottom, and it's six years later. White Flag was about what twenty five percent shot. 30, 30, oh yeah, a third shot. Twenty five twenty five percent shot. The whole opening was shot, and then it was one of the biggest years of rainfall. The rainfall flooded our locations. Uh, actors moved on. They looked different. By the time we got around the scenery, we'd have had to wait another half a year to get to the scenery. Everybody yeah. was like, just go shoot. And I went, and you said it too. It's like, do you realize that if we would have just picked up shooting, that they would have been walking through the, the – and I'm not going to give it away. They'd have been walking through the field of dead leaves, and then the next shot would have been all green. and. Green beautiful shots and somebody would have went, what the hell happened here? I still, that white flag and Texas dead are my, my two that I, I still think can do good. Honestly. And I think white flag would have to dumb down some. Yeah, well, white flag, if we were to do it again, he's, he's not being a monster, but just a crazy person. I totally agree. And abandon that. the makeup stuff. It totally should be not, the that. zombies could stay. The zombies they just need they, to be. They just need to be different. They made the zombies just too much. Yeah, well, that's we, what took a long time to do. To make it. I mean, you're right. That makes it, yes, the people we had doing the zombie makeup were good. Were good, but we needed speed. Yeah, we needed uh, low budget uh, makeup artists, not trying to do Hollywood makeup artists. That took forever. It was. That, I think was, Texas. I think Texas Dead and White Flag could combine almost. Yeah, I hear you. That's still – Texas Dead is still probably my my favorite that you've wrote, that we went out and found the locations, that we knew what we were going to do action-wise. Still one of my favorite. That had oh, the uh, – Oh, Texas the Zombie flare, the fun, That's what I said. 
Texas well, we had games. see Texas Zombie Games then became since Texas Zombie Games was a movie, so the people this is another of these projects that we talked that were right. Talking. Texas well, Zombie Games was a movie. It was basically it was a movie. That's what but, I meant then. Well, no, 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 no. I, I, I know what you meant. What I'm saying is Texas Zombie Games was a f- movie, and then we changed it to a series, and we're going to call it Texas Dead. Oh, that's right. And Texas I think Zombie I rewrote, Games. I think I wrote about three or four episodes. Texas Zombie Games is the one. It's the one. The both were good. Cause Texas Dead then became um, – well, I don't want to give it away. We want to save it for later. But anyway, they both were good. I agree. But they both needed to have – they don't need a multi-million dollar budget, but they need more than – They need more than what we got. Yeah, they need yeah. more than bologna and a Little Caesars pizza. Yeah. That is that is absolutely right. Uh, but the thing is not giving up. That I think that's our biggest deal is we won't give up. We will change course 47 times. Yeah, but this time in our life, it's the course is worth changing. It's like okay, because every time we would change before, it's like, oh well, we got to get this done. But so and so, we got to get so and so, and now it's like, let's condense it. Let's let's go from point A to point B. Let's not try to make these people think we're because you can. You're writing your novel. It ain't point A to point B. It's got some twist in there. So we're literally going, we don't have to do that every time. It can Somebody can sit down and enjoy it and go, shit, y'all did that? Yeah. Watch the one that we take the slowest time with and, and don't get all emotional about be the one that take off. That Oh, I know. Something like this will be the one that puts you on the mat. And like, this, this, is our, this will be our Tarantino and Rodriguez that yeah. we've always talked about. The, the one that and, you're and, doing part-time on the side while you're doing <laughs> – Backyard stuff and while I'm doing some of these stuff. That's the one that'll be the day. The one we poured our heart and soul into. Yeah. You know, we're like, man, you drink and sleep it. That's that one does nothing. This one they don't they don't worry about that. Yeah. The that's one we half right. asked, that's the one that's gonna yeah. take off. They'll be like, So y'all just okay, y'all just okay, okay. That's I really like that. Your other stuff is yeah, I was I didn't really care for it. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh all right, well. Let's uh, we'll tune in next week. Show them the location. If you have it, yeah, they'll be just show as them, as I am because I haven't even watched it. So show them the location of the trailer because we are going to use that. It is still going to be the first part, and I've extended it. I've added something that I know Hoke is going to love. I'm not even telling him. I did it today. You guys don't know. I went back in there and I rewrote. Now that I knew I have more time. I wrote something in there that when Hope reads this fight scene, he's going to be like, I want to be there the day we're filming that. <laughs> All right. And that is very, that is very rare. Hmm. So that now I have you intrigued. Now I am intrigued. <laughs> I am intrigued. <laughs> hmm. But yeah. Uh, One of my favorite you know, gags we ever did was the gun. The, the the trailer home in the series where you make out with you you screw the girl while while Lucky's fighting. Uh, what was that booty call? Episode six. Yeah, that was that's one of my favorite deal because you know what, you know what, let's do this. Put the don't even put the trailer up because that's just a location that's really cool. Yeah, and they're gonna like it. Put up episode six of booty call. The whole episode? I put them up. I well, think it's just 30 minutes. Okay. They, they can scroll through it. They don't have to watch it. Okay. But it, it is, it is, I'm with you. It's one of the, it's one of my, it's one of the funniest. Yeah. The idea that you're banging this chick while he's in there fighting funny. a dope dealer. That's yeah, funny. I always liked that idea. Yeah. We might could have pulled it off better or this or that about it. Just the idea I liked. I did too. I think it worked for what? what we had. I mean, for everything that we did, I think it worked fine. I think not to go on. I'll just say, I know we keep going. I'll, I'll, I don't want to say any more after this. Yeah. I think we were too hard on ourselves. We did some funny stuff and some, some neat little stuff. We, I think we got so caught up in the technicals and a lot of the feedback we got were from other video people and they were all harping on the technicals. 
They harped on the technicals, but everywhere we went, people loved it. I think you know what? Thought we did some funny stuff. I think it was still funny. Their stuff. I watched. Went and watched the damn uh, the deal we did for Coke, the the football scene again the other day, and I've started laughing at that. I think just not having anybody back you or having money into it that you could keep your crew and everybody together. I said that, dude. There's shit on TV now that people get paid a shitload of money to do, and it's not even half ass as funny. Well, my f- the funniest thing that we ever pulled off, I wrote it, and I thought it was a pretty funny idea, and I thought it was a pretty funny concept. But then when y'all acted out, it even got even funnier. And I still, it still it cracks me up now just to think about it. But when Chris tells that big, heartful, heartfelt story in this, oh, with the cat in the cemetery, and then you play the cat app <laughs> after he's just poured his heart and soul out to you. That to me, I just think <laughs> about that scene sometimes, and it makes me laugh. Well, that just goes to show you how dumb Lucky, I mean Cowboy was. And I'm telling you, they would still be good to this day, but and would still work. But there's you, it's almost like, and I tell people this now. They're like, man, y'all need to do that. Y'all need to, y'all need to get back doing that. Somebody said that it probably been a month ago. Yeah. And I went, I'll tell you what, will you go to work for free? Will you get up every day and go to work for free? and come home and do it again and again and again for nothing. They went, well, no, I went, then that's where we are. I said, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it works. And yeah, people like it. But at the end of the day, we're getting up and going to work for free and we're doing everything we can for you to enjoy and take 30 minutes out of your day to laugh at it. And we're doing it for free. They went, I never thought of it that way. I went, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's the easiest way to put it. I'm telling you, the one like one something like this screwed project, that's the one that'll take off. The one we can only work part time on, that'll be the one that'll explode. And and oh, yeah, it, the, I, the ones we uh, sweat so. sweat blood over that that'll never get you anywhere. I think so. It'll be the one, and it's all because of all those deals we've done have led up to this to where we don't make the mistakes, we don't do the stupid shit, we take the time, and it's the one that we go, man, this is this is four different scripts we've had for, we, we're, piece, we're puzzling them together and cleaning them up, that's all. That Tell you what I'll do, instead of playing that episode, I'll put your trailer deal on here. I'll put find the there. link to that episode, and I'll just put it in the comments for the video. And oh, the yeah, they can click on it if they want to watch it. They can watch the trailer video you made. And then uh, yeah. they can go watch yeah. it. I like it. I like it. That, but that, that, that's, we did that in like 2010, 2011, 2010. Yeah. And that episode was shot. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. And we shot, we were getting to where we were shooting a Cowboy and Lucky episode in uh, two days, Saturdays and Sundays. Pretty much. I, when I worked on Walker, it took us all week to shoot an hour episode. Monday through Friday, 16 hours a day, and we were shooting 30 minute episodes in two days. Mm-hmm. Okay. Leave them with that. See ya. Upset. Watch the trailer thing. Bye. Bye. All right. So this is this is uh this is what's great about living and having access to a lot of good things. This is we've used this before, but this will be the scene where Roy breaks in the trailer at the very first in our four minute, our four minute series. <clears throat> and that's what's great about knowing people and locations because this set dressing, this would be a set dressing piece in LA would cost money and you just find an old abandoned trailer and find the people that own it and ask can you shoot in it and you have your scene for what we're doing with Roy. So, can't wait. We've used this a couple of times, but it'll be a good action scene coming up here in the next couple of weeks.